Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to CoasterNet Update. We've got some breaking news tonight out of Bristol, Connecticut, where this past weekend, the winners of the 2017 Golden Ticket Awards were announced. And ladies and gentlemen, we have a brand new number one wood coaster. Well, hold, hold on, hold in there for a second. It's not brand new. It did win back no. in 2012. I guess. But uh, for the first time in four years, we have a different winner. Yes, El Toro finally has taken the crown from the undeserving Boulder Dash, in oh, my opinion. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. So, uh, so Danny, uh, you were actually at Six, uh, Six Flags Great Adventure this weekend uh, during the announcement uh, of, of El Toro winning. Uh, give us the, you know, the word on the street, the word, you know, you know, at ground zero here, uh, for, uh, for El Toro. Yeah. So, um, it was actually funny. We were at, uh, the riding of the bull event, which is the annual ACE event at Six Flags Great Adventure, which usually occurs sometime, uh, in early September. Um, it's not always on the same weekend as the golden tickets. It just happened to be that for the second straight year, it fell on, uh, this weekend. Um, and we thought it was kind of curious because at our lunch from 3 to 5 p.m., a lot of the higher-ups in the park that typically visit and, you know, say hello and, uh, you know, say a few words were mysteriously missing from this year's event. And, uh, you know, the folks who were there kind of said, you know, uh, you know, they, they wanted to be here again this year, but they're up at Lake Compounds for the Golden Ticket Awards tonight. And that's when kind of words started to kind of get around that, uh, you know, why would they be up at Lake Compounds? Because historically, parks don't always go to the golden tickets unless they've been invited because they've won an award. Um, then we got a little voucher uh, that said that at an 8.30 pre-ERT party behind El Toro, there would be an exclusive gift given. Um, and that's kind of when we started to figure, okay, you know, maybe they're streaming the golden tickets. You know, El Toro probably won Best Wood Coaster. Um, and sure enough, when we uh, got to our little pre-party, we were given a nice little uh, a five by seven postcard signed by uh, Neil, the, the GM of the park, I believe. Uh, you know, showing that El Toro was indeed the the, uh, the number one coaster, uh, the number one wood coaster, and it also came with this uh, nice little uh, Golden Ticket Award pin uh, that kind of mimics the uh, the the uh, the Golden Ticket, if you mm -hmm. will. Um, so that so that was real nice of them to get, and you know, we didn't have to pay extra for that. That was just a nice little thing that they did for us. Um, they were streaming the awards and then after the awards were over, they had a nice little documentary on El Toro, uh, that they had done. Uh, and then when 10 o'clock hit and the park closed, uh, everyone, uh, did the annual two hour riding of the bull during El Toro night ERT. It was a fun time had by all. So now, now, you know, Danny, uh, you've been an outspoken critic of El Toro. Uh, I, I have been an outspoken critic of Boulder Dash, uh, you know, going as far as to say uh, that. They're never going to please both of us unless they do, unless well, they have one answer. Well, there, there is one answer that I, I think we can both agree that the golden tickets are wrong on both accounts because Voyage <laughs> is the clear. They haven't been right for like seven years. <laughs> yeah. Voyage is clearly the best wood coaster in the world. So I, I don't know what they're doing over there and who's voting in this awards. Uh, but, you, you know, I, I, I tend to like El Toro. Uh, I currently have El Toro ranked number five. I don't think it's, it's number one. I think there are there are a number of far better coasters, uh, uh, you know, out there, and I, I I think it's interesting to see how Mystic Timbers and how Lightning Rod do in the future. That typically rides do not jump up to the top spot in its first year in the Golden Tickets. Uh, that that's that's kind of unheard of um, in my I think. Uh, so you know, it, it'll be interesting to see how those two do in the future. But I think it's also interesting that El Toro takes the top spot here. Um, you know, for me, Boulder Dash, I, Danny, I, I've had this conversation with you before. Uh, <laughs> yes, you have. Bo Boulder Dash, I can't remember a single thing that happens on it. Um, and, and, you know, I'm not typically one that rides a ride over and over and over, uh, you know, on, on, a, on my first trip to a park. And, and Boulder ja Dash just left uh, – I won't say it's a bad coaster. I have it ranked somewhere in my, you know, mid twenties into my thirties, but it's, it's an, it's an unremarkable ride to me. Whereas El Toro for me, uh, you know, those first three hills on El Toro are some of the best hills in the industry. 
you can say what you will about the second half because I know that that's where you really come down on the ride. Um, and it has been a few years since I've been on El Toro, but you know, I kind of, I kind of like El Toro. So I'm not completely, I, I'm actually very for this move. I think El Toro is a much more deserving roller coaster than Boulder Dash uh, ever will be. I think there are even more deserving roller coasters. I think it's interesting if you look at the list that Phoenix is really coming up in the world. And that's another one that I wouldn't so mind if that became the number one wood coaster. Yeah, I, I would much prefer Phoenix over El Toro. I, I would. I, I don't know that I would necessarily mind Phoenix over Boulder Dash even. Um, I think out of those three, I would pick Phoenix as the one. You know, Phoenix has always been a favorite of mine. That's a ride that I grew up riding as well. Um, that being said, you and I are definitely in agreement that Voyage is. Yeah. You know, we 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 often say the folks who who ride voyage and don't immediately think that that is the greatest wooden roller coaster they've ever ridden ought to have their head examined. Um, and you know, El Toro is not a bad ride. Okay. I, you know, I, we always, t you know, everybody knows that I am not the biggest El Toro fan in the world. It, it is not a bad ride. Okay. I'm not, I'm not saying for one second, it's not a bad ride. It is not one of my favorites. It is not what I look for in a wood coaster. Um, I like to be, I like to have some lateral forces on my wood coaster, which El Toro has that twisted sidewinder finale. Uh, but the problem is even though you've got those low to the ground turns, they're very highly banked. So it's a lot of into your seat, which I get enough of on the first half of the ride. Um, so I, I want some lateral forces. Um, El Toro to me doesn't have I'll use the word character doesn't have the raw feeling that a lot of other wood coasters like Voyage, like Phoenix, like a ravine flyer, uh, even like an outlaw run, which runs on steel wheels. Um, you know, even though it is the topper track, it runs steel wheels. So it's got a little bit of that wood coaster shimmy shake to it. Um, El Toro doesn't have the, the right kind of shimmy shake to me. Um, it's, it's funny because there were 266 people at this event over the weekend and yet running two trains on El Toro, which, you know, they see 20 or 36 a piece. So that's 72 seats in all. There were times where, you know, a good friend of the show, Adam Beard and I sat in the back car, which is the <laughs> most coveted of seats on that ride and sat in that train for three or four straight rides because people just weren't riding it. Now it was, it was rather chilly, you know, it was in the high fifties, low sixties. Um, but there were a lot of people sitting outside the entrance of the ride, just sitting on a bench and talking with folks rather than riding, which is highly unusual for an event on, you know, two hours of ERT on a ride that just won best wood coaster. Um, and it seems to me that, there's agreement that El Toro isn't the ride it once was. Um, it does have what I'll call the wrong kind of roughness. Um, I don't mind the side to side. I don't mind the lateral forces that you get on a voyage that you get on a legend, you get on a Raven, you get on something even like a beast. Um, I think Boulder Dash has some of those lateral forces. Mystic Timbers, I think has some good lateral forces in spots, which isn't typical of GCIs, but I think that turnaround has some good ones. Uh, there's a right-hand turn just before you do the double down over the river that I think has some good lateral forces. The last turn has some good laterals. Prowler has some good laterals. Um, El Toro doesn't have the laterals. El Toro has the jackhammering, it wants to bury your neck into your spine type of roughness in certain spots. And it's not where you expect it. I expect it at the bottom of those first three hills. And that's not where I get it. I get it in the second half of the ride, which is very odd. Um, the thing with El Toro for me is it has probably the best drop on any wooden coaster in the world that I've experienced. Um, maybe lightning rod, uh, you could make an argument. Maybe you could make an argument for a few others if you're Goliath. sitting in the right seat. Yeah. Um, but I think El Toro in the back seat is probably the best drop on a wood coaster. Um, and then it probably has the two best airtime hills of any wood coaster. Um, it, it's certainly most intense airtime hills, I guess you could say. Um, you know, there's some – best is kind of a bad word. We don't, we don't like that word here. Um, we like favorite. 
more, but I think intense is, you know, the next two hills probably have some of the most intense ejector airtime. And then after that, for me, it's kind of a lot of just meandering around. And then you have this amazing crossover hill that goes over the station into the second half of the ride and into the finale, which is, you know, your twists and turns. And then you have some little bunny hops back up to the brake run where you don't really get a whole lot of airtime. We rode in the front, we rode in the back, we rode in the left side, right side. We tried a lot of different seats. And there's just, there's a, there's too much on El Toro for me that doesn't do enough. Um, it has four amazing elements that are probably four of the best 10 elements on any wood coaster anywhere, but all the stuff in between that gets you between those elements doesn't quite do it for me. Whereas on a ride like Voyage, you've probably got 15 elements that are really, really, really good. And you know, okay, let's, let's say you wanted to pick out your favorite five moments from Voyage, whatever they are. Um, everything in between that gets you in between those five elements is really, really, really good as well. Yeah. Um, and I think the same argument could may be made for rides like Phoenix. Um, I think lightning rod is a better ride than El Toro. Uh, lightning rod is much more complete to me. Um, I don't know. That's my, that's my personal opinion. Uh, I'm in the minority there. I know it. And at the end of the day, I'm, you know, I'm being a good sport. I'm sitting here, you know, showing off my swag and I'm wearing the El Toro shirt. Uh, and you know, I, you know, gave a nice congratulations to the folks at Great Adventure, uh, when they won their, when they won their award and, you know, they put on a good show for us. And it, it, again, it's a good ride. It's a good ride. It's not one of my five favorites. It's a good ride. It's a fun ride. I, I rode it eight times without getting off the train during ERT. Uh, I went and got some rides on Bizarro because that was also on ERT. And then I sat in the back of El Toro for eight straight rides um, and had no problem doing it. I, I, I enjoyed it. I always enjoy the event. Um, not one of my personal favorites. I'd prefer to see a ride like Phoenix or Boulder Dash or even Lightning Rod. I'd prefer, I, I think Lightning Rod would be a better choice. Um, but at the end of the day, I think you and I agree on one point here and one point only here. And that's that voyage is the correct yeah. answer yeah vo voyage is the best uh you know so uh, you know and I, I i like i like el toro it's been a few years since i've been at el toro i don't get out to the east coast as as much as other people do uh so you know that's one that i, I think i'd like to ride again uh just to see how i feel about it now uh currently like i said it's ranked number five so uh but yes el toro officially uh the you know according to the golden ticket awards the best wood coaster in the world so see how uh, it fares in the thrilling 32 this coming year because yeah. it uh it was number two last year yeah. uh, only two lightning rod and it was number three the year yeah. before i think so el toro always a historical top five in the thrilling 32 as well like i said i'm in the minority uh, yeah. lots of people love it and like i said i'll sit here and be a good sport and say congratulations to el toro and six flags yeah. great adventure uh on you know that the, the second time that El Toro has won the award, 2012 yeah. was the last time won the award. So congratulations to the park uh, on on the golden ticket, and uh, we'll see how the thrill we'll see how it ends up in the yeah. thrilling 32 in the coming months. Here. And uh, just for the record, I do not own a Boulder Dash shirt, so I can't be a good sport. So <laughs> yeah. <they're... laughs> that's right. I'll, I'll buy you one. I have plenty. I even have I even have the one that says Golden Ticket yeah. Award. I, I'll, I'll tell I'll tell you something. Uh, I own a B shirt. But I don't own a Boulder Dash shirt, so that should that should tell you all you need oh, to know. Which one do you rank higher? Huh? Huh? <laughs> Who cares? Is the better? <laughs> yeah, the better neither answer. of them make the fridge. Yeah, seriously, right? So, uh, anyway, thanks for joining us here on CoasterNet Update. Uh, I'm of course Andrew Barchek from Chicago, Illinois, and Danny Miller from Binghamton, New York. <laughs> and right on, right, Warriors. Congratulations, El Toro. See you next time, guys.